Hi, my name is Megan Jasperson and I work for Purdue Extension in Perry and Spencer Counties as the Health and Human Sciences Educator. Today we are going to be talking about bullying and how to stop a bully and what to do if that happens to you. Welcome to the Bully Control Center. What we do here is monitor bullies. Bullies are a problem all over the world. Have you ever been picked on? Lots of people have. In this video, I'm going to tell you some different stories about bullies and share with you some do's and don'ts on dealing with bullies safely. Let's start with a typical bully story. In our studies, we've discovered that one place you can usually find bullies is on the playground at school. That was something Eric found out. It seemed that no matter what Eric did, sooner or later he would get picked on by Brad. Most times, Eric would yell at Brad, something like, stop, give it back. But that didn't stop Brad. As a matter of fact, the matter Eric got, the more Brad liked to tease him. Come on, Brad would say. You want the ball back? What are you going to do about it? Stop saying that, Eric yelled. Yeah, what are you going to do to stop me, said Brad. What Eric did next just made things worse. He and Brad got into a fight. That's when their teacher came up. In the end, Eric ended up with a bloody nose and in trouble. Brad got in trouble too, but he thought it was worth it just to see Eric get so mad. So what could Eric have done instead of fighting? He could have just ignored Brad. Eric could have just ignored Brad and pretended that what he did didn't even bother him. And then he could have just walked away. Instead of giving Brad the satisfaction of knowing he's upset, Eric just ignores him. And when Brad makes a threat, Eric just walks away. So let's look at the do's and don'ts that Eric learned. 1. Don't fight. It makes things worse. 2. Do ignore the bully. Act as if they don't even exist. And 3. Walk away. What if walking away doesn't work and the bully follows you or keeps aggravating you? The next thing you should do is use your words. Stand up straight, look the bully right in the eye, and tell them how you feel. Don't think you have to let a bully push you around. Use your words to stand up for yourself. And practice what you're going to say. This will make you more confident before you say it. Something Eric could have said instead of fighting with Brad is, I don't like the way that you're treating me. Please give me my ball back. And he could go from there. If he practiced this ahead of time, if he knew Brad was going to bully him, or if it's happened in the past, he would feel more confident in what he was going to say. Here's something important to remember. When a bully wants something you have, especially if the bully is bigger or older than you are, or there are more people than just you, the first thing you should think about is keeping yourself safe. That doesn't mean that there's nothing you can do. It just means you can't do it yourself you have to get help from an adult. What might that look like? Instead of getting into a fight with somebody who might really hurt you, you should ask a trusted adult for help. This could be a teacher, a parent, a coach, or someone else that you know and trust. Don't protect the thing that the bully wants, but do protect yourself first, and then go ask for help. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. One day someone may pick on you, but now you know what you can do. Let's review. Do try to ignore it and do walk away. Use your words. Stand up straight, look the bully right in the eye, and in a firm voice tell them to stop. Practice what you're going to say ahead of time. It will make you more confident. Always protect yourself first. You're a lot more important than anything else. And do ask a grown-up that you trust for help. For more information, you can contact me at mjaspers at purdue.edu, visit our website at extension.purdue.edu, or like us on Facebook at Purdue Extension Spencer.